Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Coffee Craft with Anand Jr. As you can probably see, a couple things have changed since we were last year. Original, oh, one too many. There we go. Originally, we had put together some fairly simple little post boxes here for all the server members, and all three of us. <laughs> And uh, Reyest decided that uh, the jungle wood structure was ugly and <laughs> needed to be beautified. So, uh, so she went and put this together. A little concrete and brick. Uh, it is my understanding that it is not yet complete. Mostly because when I logged in to check on a couple of things and prep for today's episode, I saw that this little patch right here had um had been empty and uh so i went and filled in the little patch right there and i'm sure i'll find out the hard way if that was wrong um i noticed that we got a couple of extra spots because i know we do intend to add a couple more people once we launch season one we still gotta finish getting a few things together ourselves before we do that uh, we're still trying to work on streaming and publishing and getting settled in on our respective channels. Um, as you've noticed, I did not get the promised work done on my own channel descriptions and whatnot, although I did get all the archives of past streams up on the YouTube channel and up on archive.org, just in case YouTube decides to disappear some of my content. Not that that would ever happen. Uh, <clears throat> so, that that part is done. Some progress has been made. And uh, still a little ways to go. I can't remember if I had shown any progress towards this, but this is the kind of general idea. I want to start building out a more natural cliff for the stairs to have been cut into. Uh, at least get a general consensus. I will definitely go through and do some serious terraining once we upgrade to 1.14. Uh, most likely 1.14.1. I'm keeping an eye on the bigger servers to see what sorts of things they're running into so I can make decisions accordingly. Uh, it seems like the problems that people have been running into are the sorts of things that I really don't want to deal with. Uh, problems like chunk rendering and that sort of thing and um, now that the chunk rendering appears to be fixed in 1.14.1 it's just a matter of setting up uh, making sure that the redstone stuff that some people have been finding in 1.14.1 isn't anything that's going to affect us especially since I do plan on doing a little bit more redstone machinery and in prep for the upcoming update and in prep for um, various other changes today's stream is mostly going to be hanging around here um, these wonderfully hard workers in order to continue their doing their their wonderful farming they're going to need a place to sleep and they're going to need a profession block and I believe that is the only changes they will need to remain functional uh, once we upgrade to 1.14.1. So I'm going to have to punch a hole back there, get two beds, and leave space for the profession blocks. And do the same thing here. And do the same thing here. I am a little worried, though, that these guys have not been planting as much wheat as they should have been. Hmm. Might be a little too aggressive in the seed collection. I'll see what I can do about that. I also plan on separating them out. So I'll probably cut down a little bit on their individual farmland, but um, separate them out. Because this thing produces a fair amount of bread. I came through and cleared a lot of this out before logging onto the server for the live stream. So, uh, I'd really like to not generate bread. I don't use bread. Uh, man does not live on bread alone. 
uh, I'm living the low carb Minecraft life. And, um, yeah, so I'll probably try to find a way to get a slightly smaller space, but still leave room for them to do their thing. And my uh, vine farm. And what I'd like to do is knock this wall back a little bit and start prepping for some of the animal farms. These are farms that I've done on previous servers that uh, I'd like to bring in here so I can start getting more pork chops and steak and things like that. And it's just one of those uh, one of those projects that I never quite got around to, mostly because with uh, the fishing, I've been, you know, still munching on cod. And so the there's no been no pressing need for food. But uh, I'd like to get a few farms up up this way, move the egg farm from down there up here, and kind of start thinking about how I want to route all the drops, because I really hate coming here. All right, let me collect the wheat, and let me collect the potatoes, and let me collect the carrots, and doing all the individual collection. And what I'm thinking of doing, since somewhere over this away is the central shaft that runs from the mob dropper up top down to here. I'd actually like to find a way to get all the farms to just drop their stuff into the uh, hopper minecarts that are hiding inside the magma blocks. You know, you can toss whatever you want on there and, and it's not going to burn them up. Um, and then make that the central input for the various farms and whatnot. Like, I know the sugarcane farm that's up that way, it, it already backs into this thing, so it's just a matter of reversing where it goes. And then I cleared out my cactus farm because I'd like to start knocking out this area here and expand this out into a giant storage facility, uh, preferably with auto sorting. That's long term. I still got to do some planning and measurements and figure out just how I want to make that sort of thing work. But that is that is part of the long term goal is to get all my farms to go into here. And then uh, on some of the things, kind of get some farms off of the overflow. Notably, coming back up here to these guys, the wheat farms produce a lot of extra wheat seeds. And in 1.14, we have the composter. The composter will take wheat seeds and other foodstuffs that we don't, uh, that we might not need, and it'll generate bone meal out of it. Now, I do get a fair amount of bone meal from the skeletons that drop out of that mob dropper. Um, so I'm not exactly hurting for bone meal, but I've not seen too many people who said, you know what, I I just have I have too much bones, because uh, I can start doing more with the bone blocks. Uh, <laughs> okay, so may maybe I do have a fair amount. I, I definitely need to consolidate some of that down to a shulker box too. Um, but one of the things that I want to build is a tree farm, which is going to eat up a lot of that bone meal. I've not been making too much use of my little uh, bread maker over here. You know, fill this bad boy up with some bone meal, hit the switch, and get to planting. And that's a nice way to rapidly get up some carrots and potatoes and beetroot and wheat, any, any crops along those lines. It's a design based off of one that... Um, eth no... Nembom. Nembom? I think it was Nembom. Uh, I, I found it by way of Doc M. He was not the originator, but he's the one who pointed me to that design. Uh, I will definitely have to find the video so I can give proper credit where that one is due. I do need to figure out why this hopper on the right isn't firing like the other two like these two guys will run out of bone meal about the same time at about the same rate and then this guy over here will be nearly full uh something seems off about that 
And what I may have to do is I may have to clear out some more space in the back and put a little more intricate wiring into into effect. Um, but that is uh, that is another project for another day, because for now it still works. It still works just fine. Uh, but yeah, I gave that that a little bit of exercise so I could uh, trade with the villagers and get a few things, uh, stock up a little bit on the mending books, stock up on a few other books and get rest a set of full gear because as i've mentioned before she's not on the server all the time and uh i get tired of seeing her using the iron gear Ooh. that was not what i expected i'd also long-term planning like to clear up around here a little bit so I get a few less of those surprises. Um, I started to put in some lights in the ground here and that worked out mostly okay. But I'm probably going to clear off a little bit of this hill here, make a larger barn so I can move these guys out from in front of my house and <laughs> into a proper barn. And so I can move these guys from this poor pitiful hole into a proper barn. Is that... That's not working. It was a nice convenient place to tuck them in at the time, but some of the things that I want to redo to work the doorway a little bit better, it's just not going to work out. So I need to get those guys moved. I need to get those guys moved. Uh, so that is also in the future plans. Keep going on about future plans. Now back to what I actually intended to do for today. And I need to go make some beds and figure out where I'm going to clear some space so that when we upgrade, these farms will be ready to go and these guys can keep producing those carrots and potatoes. Um, it's going to be a rather interesting one because... The way this farm works is those two spots back there are dark enough that a villager can plant there, but technically uh, plants are not supposed to grow there because of the, the darkness level. Like a player can't plant in there, but a villager can. And when they leave the square for the planting, they trigger a redstone update or a block update by... Um, stepping on and off the pressure plate and that causes the crop to break off in those two squares and then it gets picked up by some hoppers and brought into these chests up here um, this is not quite the same setup i've got two lines of hopper minecarts down under under all that dirt and so when they harvest the wheat over those lines of hopper minecarts it's supposed to get sucked up into here I, again, get a lot of wheat seeds, and I don't think they're getting enough, so I don't know if that's because I need to give them a little more of their own space that is not getting harvested, or uh, or what needs to happen with that. But those slackers need to get to working. Matter of fact, you know what, let me... Three, four, five, yeah, alright. Let's take it all over here. And see if I can do this without them getting free. I can I uh nope. <laughs> and that is why I didn't play basketball. Alright, uh come on guys. Seriously. You find somewhere else to stand. You're not helping me. You're supposed to be helping me. That's why you're there. If I do this, you're not going to run free, right? You know what? Let me go ahead and put that right there. Guys. I don't know where that other block went. But that'll at least keep them in there. So I can go... Pick up all that glorious wheat seed. Oh, it's all in here, isn't it? Oh. 
Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. <sighs> Alright. This may need some extra work. Alright. Well, that didn't go in there, but I did end up breaking a bit of farmland. Uh, before I do... Alright, so that means I need two, four, six beds. And I gotta figure out where to fit them in there. And I need to make sure I bring a hoe with me for when I inevitably break more of the uh, farmland. Alright, so there that is. And let's get some wool. Tons of carpet. Ah, there we go. There's some wool. And what kind of, Yeah, there we go. Two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, of course. All right, Get that put away. Get that put away. I'm not going to waste any dye in these beds if they don't like it. Tough cookies. Now to find some space. Actually, let me grab. Stone bricks. Crack stone and some mossy. That way I can at least decorate the area too while I'm there. And lighting. I forgot lighting. <sighs> Absent minded with an on. All right. Da, 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 da. Lighting. You know, the box with the torch in it. save that one for the last because I'm still not entirely sure if I'm going to separate those two and see if that cuts down on the bread production or just leave it as is for now. You guys, where am I going to put your bed? light, but I need to keep that down. Also perilously close to the edge of the cliff. I know somewhere around here that does poke out. Alright, let's go on. I could put the beds there, and they just need access to the profession block, so I can probably put those <laughs> there. I might be able to make this work with that, or at least for these two. And the profession block will go in there.
Like I'm worried about losing the stone. see where I need to cover up later on over there. Alright, and put that there, put that there. I can put the profession blocks over there. That is actually not spawnable surface. The only problem is, yeah, they're going to get out of the bed and land on those two blocks there, which, no, that's not acceptable. So, let's push that back just a little more. Remind ourselves why we should have done pre-planning a little bit more. if I can put the profession blocks up there and that counts. Only one way to find out. Once we upgrade. <laughs> Not quite the way I wanted to find out, but you know what? Not like I can't move it and fix it later. Alright. There you guys go. Enjoy your comfy beds. Look, you even have a crafting table. Alright. Why are you staring at me? Go farm. Look, there's carrots and everything. Those guys were easy to fix. These two that I don't know what to do because these guys I can always expand out further that way. These guys I'm worried that if I keep going further back I'm gonna run into lighting concerns and the last thing I need is some zombies getting in there causing me problems. Could go get some carpet. Yeah, that might be what I do. If I remember correctly, the beds themselves are not spawnable. So the beds and the blocks are not spawnable. I can always throw down a little carpet. And problem solved. I'll find out when I find a pair of zombie villagers and they're not farming potatoes. <sighs> Guys, seriously. Why are you looking at me like that? You're trying to make a run for it, aren't you?
There. You're not going anywhere. Ser Dude. Seriously. I, I make you this nice little place. With all this food. And this is how you repay me. Gotcha. Alright, now I need to go back one more. I'm going to try to put the profession blocks up there. I need two for the bed, two for them to land, and profession blocks up on the roof. There you go. See? Nice and comfy. Yeah. Bed. Landing. Profession. I know, I know. Nobody's ever going to see it up there. But it's going to bother me if I don't. probably be trying to escape less if it didn't look like a brick dungeon. Don't worry, I'll put a wine cask in here for you. A fine amontillado. The best vintage. For you, good sir. Alright, profession blocks. I need carpet. And two beds. So, two profession blocks, two beds, space for them to land that is not going to spawn critters in here, hopefully. And that should be it. Alright. You guys are now all set. Hmm. Hmm. zombies pathing into my village because you know there's a bunch of villagers over here yeah and I'll fix up the hillside in a minute you know what for now I'm just gonna leave these guys as they are don't feel like messing with them not right now later but not right now
There you go. One more bit of farmland. Alright, and that should be all I need over there. Unless something goes horribly, horribly wrong, which it almost invariably will. Because that was too easy. Alright, so you guys got a safe bed. You guys got a safe bed. You guys got a safe bed. Did I drop any supplies in here? Nope. Yep. Okay, good. Alright, so... What I need now... To drop that there and... See how bad it looks over in the side. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. I just need to cover up the brick. Really need to make it a little bit harder for the zombies to climb up there anyway. Oh, it was kind of funny to go walking out here. That's why I had to put those fences up there. The uh, zombies were pathfinding uh, up that corner and then down this way. And then they were coming up here and landing over the gate. So I had to put the fence to stop them from jumping over there. Because I went to go collect the farm and found about eight of them. Just kind of hanging out here, looking through the window. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> it, was, it was, yeah, it was something. It was something. Alright. That way. Oh. There we go. Alright, now I need to knock this back a little bit. Uh, I am eventually going to cut a cobblestone path down this way. Down the middle. Matter of fact, that's why I brought that out, because I usually use my silk touch pickaxe, which is not going to be helpful in this. Uh, careful of that. There should be one more. Alright. And then I'll figure out the rest in a little bit. I have been running into a weird issue with this design. I'm not sure what's causing it, but every now and again, the dropper will fill, but for whatever reason, it will not trigger this guy to pop up and pulse this guy into causing the uh, dropper to pump the items up into the chest. I like just happened as soon as I covered it up so you couldn't see what was going on. I promise that was not intentional. Um, so, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. I'll figure that one out in the, on another episode. All right, am I short cobble? I think I want to do a little bit more with cobble outside when I start doing the terraining and landscaping and that sort of thing. And... Eh, I could use another box of cobble. Alright. Do I have another chest in there? No. I'm out of chests. Of course. Alright. Two of those guys... And I need some light gray. That is what those guys are, right? Yep, okay.
all the cobble. All right. Go grab some more of this stuff. Yeah, as I was prepping some of the uh, worlds to do a uh, tour of previous servers that we've run uh, and get a sense of our the evolution of our build design, I realized that this is the first time I have not uh, devoted any effort to a cobble generator, which I invariably built in just about every server, because in just about every server, uh, we ran out of cobblestone. Yes, we used enough to actually run out, and uh, that has not been the case this go-around. We have more stone and cobble than we know what to do with. And yet we keep saving it. You know, just in case. Of course, I say that, and then that's usually when Rayest says something along the lines of, I have an idea for a project. And that's when our resources go to almost nothing. <laughs> so planning ahead, planning ahead, we, we've been stockpiling a lot of stuff, a lot of stone, a lot of stone brick. And uh, yeah. That way we're squared away just in case. All right, not just in case. When the inevitable happens. Now, one of the things I have not figured out is how I'm going to get the cows, pigs, and sheep from where they are in the courtyard on the castle to the farm over here. <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna need a wall. Dispenser. A block. Alright. I should just need to go that one more back. And I'm going to need to go build some redstone stuff and test, <laughs> just see how good all my supplies are for that matter. Because I am also good about stockpiling and then suddenly deciding to do something. And all of a sudden, that vast and inexhaustible supply is suddenly proving itself very exhaustible. But, uh, <laughs> isn't that the way it usually goes? Yeah, I know that as soon as I start work on the castle up on the top of the hill, I've got a couple of ideas, but nothing that I've really truly settled on and I don't want to start building until I've gotten a good idea. I may take a backup of the server and start playing in creative just to test out some different ideas and see, uh, see what I want to do with that. Because I've got to make sure that my castle is taller than Rayest's. <laughs> nah, we're not competitive at all. Nope, not even a little bit. It's a question of who's going to hit the build limit first, because uh, that that is the end result of this, is we're, we're all going to hit the build limit. <laughs> All right, let's see. I need three, six, nine hoppers. At least. And redstone. Do I have, I have a hopper. You know what, all right. Um. Just gonna make a whole bunch of chests because I know I'm gonna need them. I need to grab some iron. Gee, I hope we have enough iron. A little worried about our iron supplies. No, no, no. <laughs> I do have uh, some tentative plans for updating the villager trading hall. Uh, Seven, eight, nine. 
for updating the uh, villager trading hall for the iron farm and for the villager breeder we are gonna have to separate them out I think I've got enough villagers in reserve that I can get all that going uh, without too much trouble I forgot that the uh, 10 yahoos on the top uh, will need to be relocated anyway so that that is actually a decent start on the iron farm part of this equation I may even be able to throw some beds and um, profession blocks up where they already are and possibly keep the iron farm going that way I may have to expand out how many villagers are up there but uh Breeding villagers is easier than ever before. Uh, the question is if they are too close to the trading hall guys on the bottom. Uh, because if all of them think they're part of the same village, then they won't breed. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go back to the original plan of having them separate. You know, got to keep them separated. Get some of this other junk out of my inventory real quick while I'm here. Uh, what else do I got? I got some bones. Bit of the carpet. And I need to get rid of the arrows and the hoe. I guess I'm well stocked enough on arrows too. Yeah, that is w when I figure out my uh, design for the storage system down there, I, I am definitely going to build in some overflow protection on a few things. Um, like, I really don't plan on holding on to more than three chests worth of arrows. So I'm going to try to get it set up so that way once all three of them are filled, it will just start dispensing the extra arrows into lava. Kind of like what we did for the egg farm over there. Uh, likewise for uh, for the crops and whatnot I'm keeping all the potatoes carrots and wheat that I can but the seeds and bread I'm gonna try to pump into a composter so I can get bone meal from that and uh, and go from there all right I need some quartz and I cannot remember if observers are cobble or smooth. So we'll just take both just in case. I'm going to need some redstone dust. Are you in the precious? You are in the precious. Grab a stack for now. And I need... Two, four, six. I'm going to need three for three of them, two for two of them. I'm going to need some more dust for each. And I'm going to need a better memory. I need dispensers, not droppers. Of course, that means that I'm going to need two, four, six bows. Two, three, four, five, six. If I remember right, you can still use these guys. Yes, good. Uh, oh, I need more cobble. That went faster than I expected. <laughs> One, two. One. Two. There we go. And I'm going to need... bunch of trapdoors. Yeah, there we go. I need 
some fence posts, which would not be in the <laughs> stair box. I don't know. All right, you know what? Let me just take all those guys. I think I need any more of that. Um, all right. Oh, I'm gonna need lava. some more stuff that I completely forgot about, but I should have everything I need to craft up whatever it is that I completely forgot about. Since I've been building all that in stone brick, I should probably do the same there. Alright, let me toss that cobble in there. Toss that for now. Did I not? Yeah, okay. space open so it's about the same and I'll start over on this side here because I kind of like the wall being there that's been a big enough of an arch I'll clean that up a, another point in time so that means I need some of that some of that some of that who happened to conveniently be right there. All right, a slab went on there. Trapdoors went on there. I'm not going to hide the expensive one down there. And where's my button? The button's going to go there. The observer is going to go. Oh. Where's my torch? I'm going to wrench in here somewhere, don't I? Oh, look. Toolboxes. With a wrench. <sighs> I had it right. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So what's going to happen is you're going to hit the button. It should trigger that guy. 
going to trigger this. In fact, we'll do... Oh. Same thing there. Ah. This wrench is the best thing we ever did. Of course, this is assuming this design still works. I don't see them lighting up. that one wrong. Maybe I did get that one wrong. Um, Alright, this is a safe spot. Let me go back to my screenshots folder. I'll have to minimize chat, so I apologize if I miss anything. took some screenshots while I was on the server and oh that should be it. oh oh no 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 okay that would have been there that would be there Redstone there. Yeah, there we go. Because pushing the button is going to power that block, which is going to power that redstone. They will detect the redstone getting updated. And I actually don't think I need that guy there. Or that guy there. I can probably get away with a regular block. dispenser there. A dispenser that I want to hide. So this whole thing needs to move over one. Nope. It's staying right where it's at. The dispenser can be visible. I'm not that picky. Alright, we get this guy there and that guy there. Screenshots from the one level. That might not have been my smartest move. And I need glass. I have no idea why I wanted light gray glass. It makes no difference whatsoever to this. It just seemed right. <laughs> Alright. That way I can go one, two... Three...
Sure. There's a reason why I didn't want to put that glass there just yet. And I will eventually remember that sort of thing. Did they not get picked up by the... Oh, they should have been. Did you get the hopper directions wrong? Or is this another one of the... Oh, bother. I'll solve that mystery later. Get the trapdoors in place. Oh. I need it the other way. That way that goes down like that. That goes down like that. That's going to become important in a minute. It's just about done. Let me not walk around with the bucket of lava out. That seems unwise. Uh, if I've done that right. There we go. So what's going to happen is, somehow i got to get the cows into that little hole right there. Oh, uh, and I need one more dispenser somewhere. Yes, I did not make enough dispensers. I'm afflicted by short-term memory something or other. That disappearing glass still bothers me. Alright, three more dispensers. And three buckets of water. Oh, I'm here. Two, three. there was a way to mass produce dispensers that would make life so much easier oh look three buckets of water all right if you've been doing this for a while you kind of get the idea of what's happening it's a pretty standard animal farm not the book I feel like I'm still messing something up. Okay, good. No, it doesn't. But I do need three more buttons. For the life of me, it still is a marvel that you get one button from one giant stone block. 
You can make all those stone bricks. You can make all sorts of huge and... But, seriously? One brick gets you a button? <laughs> or one stone gets you a, uh, a button? What kind of... What kind of masonry are we doing? There we go. There we go. And where's my lever? Oh. Uh, oh, that's right. For some reason I thought I only had one of the levers. Because here's the idea. I get the cows into there. I hit the button, they bob up and down so I can feed them. And when the trap doors are closed, that lets me increase the number of cows in the breeding pen. Or pigs, or sheep, whatever. When the trap doors are open, I could have sworn I could have put just put the uh, switch on that block there. Maybe that's a change. Yeah, I really thought I only needed one switch. I'll have to double check again at another time. Anyway, so while those trap doors are up, the adults stay in that little chamber. The little ga babies get pushed off to the side when they're all grown up. Bam! We got our steak and leather. Already cooked. No need to waste fuel. Of course, the trick is getting the cows and the sheep and the whatnot up into this little hole here. Um... Now that I think about it, I will probably hang on to these extras. Oop, too much. Three. Yeah, okay. I'll hang on to those controls until I get, uh, get the critters in the pens. Alright, I just need to make a couple more. Actually, I think this is where the stairs are going to come in. Almost got it. That almost looked like a professional moment. Almost only works in horseshoes, hand grenades, and artillery fire. do that. That's going to put one, two, and then the chest. Ah, I got the space. So we got our beef. Pigs, I remember, had to be done a little differently because their hitbox is just a little bit lower than the sheep and the cows. So as soon as I finish building a duplicate of that one, because I'm going to have the cows up front. So let's face it, we really want to get the steak first and foremost. I 
really wish I could give credit to the person who originally did this particular design. Um, unfortunately, the time, point in time that I learned it was before I really started to keep track of that sort of thing. Because I never really thought that I would be doing... Never thought I'd be the one doing the videos. I was always watching the videos. The same, yeah, okay, good. That's the same direction. We're a little low on cracked stone. I'll have to fix that. gonna have to make another trip to the nether to top off that lava bucket it is one of those things that it seems kind of silly to have it sitting there taking up inventory space and all that but when you need it it is really nice to have handy all right the redstone is going that way this guy's go Where's my wrench? He's going there. <laughs> there we go. He's going there. Regular block's going to work just fine. And I need a dispenser. There. This guy is going... There. A button is going on there. That's really no easier to figure out, is it? Alright, I was hoping the button would show up a little bit better on there, but of course not. It does need to be a stone button instead of a wooden button because of the length of the pulse the button generates. So that is a difference that makes a difference, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, I'm just going to put that even with that. Just a little more crack stone. I also need to light up there. That's good. <laughs> That's what I need. Mobs in my farms. I've already got a mob farm. that guy, the one on top. I'll see that guy, the one on top. Regular brick can go there just fine. and levers can get added later. I need my 
trapdoors. Bag spike. I am I'm noticing the lag spikes every time the mob farm water hits. I know that that is part of the uh, <coughs> features <laughs> of uh, of 1.13 is that the water is super laggy. And I'm not sure if that got fixed in the update. Alright. These guys have been working out alright. And just to check. Bam. That works. Oh. Yeah. Probably help if I put the water in that one. There we go. Alright, that is two down. Now, of course I could just slab up the top there, but then that's going to leave all the uh, redstone controls weird. And I got the cobblestone wall, because once I get the animals in, I'm going to put a chunk of wall over this space. Uh, basically I'll go like that. Just to get one wall to keep them from popping out of there by accident. Not that, uh, not that I ever had that happen. But, uh, it is something to be aware of. <laughs> and if you buy that, I got a bridge to sell you too. I'll need to run the cobble a little bit further out. Just the cobble, I need to run this hole a little bit further out. Maybe I didn't need that many chests. <laughs> I'm sure I'll put them to use before too long. Alright, that's going in there. That's going in there. That's going in there. This should start off fairly similar. I want to say it was something I had to do different here. Have over... This thing will load. Come on. There we go. Okay. 
That's not that bad. I needed to put one of those guys right there. Because the little piglets could actually squeeze through that half size spot. And we wouldn't want our bacon running anyway. I mean, I like some fast food bacon and all, but uh, I don't want to have to chase it down. I think I'm going to double check the cost and possibly uh, bump us one tier up. Because right now we're using. And I'd really like to fix that. Especially if we're going to add more people later. I mean, if we're struggling just the three of us, and only one of us is really going hard on the redstone, uh, that does not bode well. Oh, for serious. Of course, I noticed in the screenshot that on the sheet version of this, I did cut the button off, and I don't remember why. I'm sure I'm going to find out the hard way, probably as I overcook my sheep. And seriously, nobody likes overcooked mutton. That's just a crime. Looks like I, uh, yeah, that looks how I had it there. Ish. Can't tell from the screenshot if I had to swap out those trapdoors for slabs. Because again, the hitbox on the pigs is weird. So, uh. until I figure out how to get the pigs down here anyway. Alright, these guys are all set. So, 
I can take my fortunate tools. Put those in there. Okay, I didn't have a wrench in there after all. I can put my wrench away. I'll put the levers in there since I got some in there already. That is a weird assortment of stuff. That is a really weird assortment of stuff. One day I'll remember why that is such a weird assortment of stuff. But today is not that day. Throw those in there. Just in case. And my lava, my utility and tools. I'll pack the rest of that away a little bit later. up a little bit tighter. There we go. There we go. Oh, lighting. It, but it does the job. All right. Okay. I'll figure out what I'm going to do about that space another day. Now. The fun part. How am I going to get those critters from up there down here? I, I hate pigmen hanging out. There's the stone. There's all the cobble. Fence put away. Stone, stone brick box. Oh, I already had some of that over there too. That put away, that put away. Iron. Lamps. Yeah, I definitely, definitely see the appeal of having a system that you can just walk up to, chuck everything in, and walk away. This is neat, this is organized, this is compact, I can find just about anything that I want to. However, I really, really like the idea of having a box that I just dump everything I want to put away into, and it gets put away. That is going to be a long-term project. I'll need to figure out uh, how much space I want to clear. How much space I need to clear. Because right now, I've got a lot of stuff double and tripled up. That's part of what keeps this so compact. Like, I got all the spruce stuff in here. 
So I'm going to need a filter for the spruce leaves, a filter for the spruce logs. Um, I don't know if I'm going to filter all this stuff out or just let it collect somewhere else. Yeah, I'm going to have to get two separate sets of boxes for the red sand and the sand and all. Um, yeah, I'll have to think about that. Think about just how detailed I want to get with it. Um, that is one of those projects on the horizon. Okay, just going through my checklist of things that I wanted to accomplish today. Trying to keep this a little tighter and a little more organized. I do want to sleep because I want to go figure out how to get the cows down here and not get molested by uh, phantoms. Because actually I think I know what I'm going to do. I need potions of slow falling. I need splash potions of slow falling. I wonder. Uh, to make it splash, you just need the gunpowder. Can I just like put those guys back in? And yeah, there we go. Brewing. Please wait. This is like waiting for your coffee to brew. You sit there, staring at the progress indicator. Semi-patiently waiting. That reminds me. some more phantom membrane floating around too. Yeah. Because I wanted to stock up on the... I try to keep a full set of uh, brewing supplies up in this way. Just so that way whatever I need to do I don't have to go hunting around for ingredients. I know it duplicates up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, that should get me the slow falling. And which one makes it more powerful? The redstone. All right. Find out in a second. Either it'll take it or it won't. Low falling. That should make it more powerful. We'll check back on that in a minute. Any leads? The yeah, Arcadius. The poor starving puppy. You know, he's 20 minutes late for his meal. That, that's just sad. I mean, look at him. He's about to starve. <laughs> I mean, there's ribs under all that somewhere. When did I brew those up? Okay, good to know they're there. Okay, I'll leave those there and forget about them. So remember, in two streams from now, when I go checking for potions of something or other and go, why is that there? All right. I think you can see where this is going. I mean, I guess I could walk them down the stairs and back up the stairs, but I'm actually thinking about taking them off that cliff and just calling it done. Because that would be the fastest way. How wide is this entrance? Okay, yeah. That shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to need some extra blocks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead them up these stairs. Try to drop them in that hole. So let me go get a stack of dirt. 
just so I can corral them. I'm probably going to grab a bucket of water too. That way I can use the water to push them into the hole. Yeah. Let me grab a whole stack. Block this off now before I have a whole bunch of cows floating around. And while I'm at it, grab some wheat from these guys. in here eventually try this the fast way. Oh yeah, that got your attention. the herd. Alright, come on guys. <laughs> that worked even easier than I thought. Laid plans. All right, I got some of you guys in there. Come on, low fall yourself in there. to Betty.
Yeah, man. Get in the hole. This is gonna be leather. And I still got somebody's lead. <laughs> I thought I'd taken care of all that. Come on. In you go. There we go. not the fence I wanted. Let me go grab some cobblestone fence and all those buttons and levers that I put away because I totally forgot I was going to need them. <laughs> oh, short-term memory something or other. I need actually six of those. Three of those. stone wall that I originally went over there for and completely forgot. <laughs> uh, I'd really love to use the brick wall, but we won't be able to do that until we upgrade to the next one. Three. Some extras, just in case there's something I'm forgetting about. There's likely to be something I'm forgetting about. some more cows because that's going to push that like that. Did I get y'all? Okay, got y'all. Grow my cows. Make steak. Put the weed away because I need the wheat for the sheep. And I can block this off. Now we're going that direction. I don't know why I took that down because I still need that blocked off. And I still need that blocked off. there. I do need 
need to sleep because I really don't want to do this in the dark. <sighs> I know, Joe. It's important to stretch when you've been moving that much. originally thinking about building these farms up here, which is why I originally put the animals here. But I realized that I want to do something different with this area. I'm not 100% sure what, but I definitely want to do something different with this area. So all this can go. Now, I don't want to take all the sheep because I do need at least two to start breeding up a... No. No, I don't need a wool farm. We got the spider farm. I can get all the wool I need. Alright. Um... I got more than 15 in here, don't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, for you guys next. Gonna need another splash potion to slow fall. <laughs> hey! What are you still doing there? Wee. I lost a couple sheep. Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. I know how to get you in. Come on. There you go. Push each other in. Push them in. Push them in. Come on. Push them in. There we go. Nice sheep. Crowd into the corner. Come on. Push your neighbor. It's okay. I promise. Come on. Yeah. Get in there. Come on, mutton chops. Yeah, your 
you're not getting out of this either. Come on. In the hole. Oh. What are you doing there? I thought I got all of them. Come on. Closer. Listen. If you don't get in the hole, I'll breed more like you. In the hole. There we go. Let me go get those slackers that were uh, hanging up. No. Oh. Seriously? A lot of y'all did not make that jump. Who else is floating around out here? Just those guys up there. Alright. Alright. Come on, mutton chops. In you go. <laughs> Moving mobs with an on junior. Come on. Feel like I'm Welsh. No. I could probably make some Welsh rabbit. Wonder why that isn't a recipe in the game. Join your buddies. Seriously, guys, get in here. All right, you stay there. you guys did. Come on. No. Oh, don't be so difficult. Listen up, lamb chops. I'm not playing along. Up we go. to the comfy spot. Take the stairs. Up we go. You go to your side. In you go. There we go.
All right. need to get the little piggies in here. This little piggy went to the sausage. This little piggy to the ham. Lots of sheep. All right, there we go. Are you guys ready to go? with my luck the pigs will find a way to go over that and so far it's been a fairly smooth process all right so we got those guys breeding up we got those guys breeding up uh, we just stick some of those in there for now Is a slow falling? Is I still oh I still got more sheep. Well I already set that up for the pigs, so let me go get them and then I'll come back for the rest of the sheep. So the pigs will probably take two trips themselves all right i'm gonna need another word for the awkward potion another phantom membrane for the slow fall redstone to make it more powerful This game hates me. Is that that was that was just all sorts of uncalled for. <sighs> nope. Of course that's when it fills up. So we got the awkward potion we got there. We need to nap anyway. While I'm waiting, I can take the diagram down, get the chat back up. For all one person to chat. <laughs> yeah, it'll get there. One day at a time. Power that joker up. 
and hope that two potions of slow fall are enough to get me what I want. Three, six, nine. Yeah, I can get all these guys in one shot. Oh, that got your attention. I hope that got all of you. something oddly satisfying about that. I did not expect to be paratrooping in pigs, but, you know. What we expect and what happens don't always match up. Seriously, you are the most stubborn pig of the bunch. I keep losing more and more of those leads. At least they're cheap. Alright, three, six, eight, wait. Three, six, seven, eight. Aww. Where'd the last guy go? There's his lead. There's a lead. Oh. Come on. Apparently didn't get the slow falling potion. Huh. So I have all eight pigs. <laughs> what was Oh Alright, I'll deal with you later. Come on. Guys, seriously. I'm not pushing each and every one of you up here. Yeah, there we go. Come on. In the hole. That's it. Push him in. Push him in. Greedy pig. Yeah, there we go. Greedy pig. Come on. Keep a pushing. Come on, baby back ribs. That would not have been good. Serious. Come on. Oh, 
no, 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 not yet, not yet. Yeah, I see you over there, Mr. Poorly Lit. in and light that up a little bit better at the next opportunity. Get that there, get that there. That's probably where he came from too. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. before I go too much further because I do not want more surprises like that one where did the carpet come from? Why do I feel like I should be worried about that? Oh, no, 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 never mind. I know where that came from. I should not be worried about that. I need lights. Grab a few more of them. And I can get more lanterns when I AFK at the farm to repair my stuff. Go ahead and put those there. Oh. Where did the other lever go? Eh. Some doofus put it on the wrong block. There we go. Well, nice to know those piggies will stay in there after all. got a couple more sheep. Or do I not bother with them? You know, I'm not going to bother with them. I can breed up more. 
Alright, so that's working. All those working down that way. It's time to uh, guess it is. All right. There we go. Make more cows. And eventually, I'm going to move my egg farm down here. The vine farm is going to go somewhere else. And I might even set up one of those chicken cookers like I had the last time. Actually, that might be what I do with the overflow eggs. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll have to go remember how I did that farm. <laughs> Alright, let me go clean up my mess and then I shall be done for the evening. There we go. Where did the... Oh, never mind. Because, yeah, okay. Alright, guys. It was nice, but you're the ones that didn't make it. figure out what I'm going to do up here. I got some ideas. I definitely want to build towers on each corner that project out that way. And I've been debating on what to do on the interior. I've actually been tempted to strip up all the grass and put uh, brick and actually put a second floor on this entirely and just make this one huge interior um, and then start building up from there. Kind of doesn't make the gate make sense or the pathway leading through, but... Eh, I don't know. Either that or I might make a giant fixture in the center. And then start building up from there. Might build a small castle in the interior and then go from there. But I'm not going to start building until I've decided what it is that I'm actually doing. Because that seems the better part of Valor. Oh, okay. I did end up with some raw mutton. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Look at the flaming sword, so I'm used to all my meat uh, ending up cooked. Alright, clean up time. Boom. And bricks. And leads and things. We got one more potion left, which is good. The carrots weathered the uh, villager trading fairly well. The potatoes even uh, almost as good. The wheat got decimated. But on the other hand, I didn't have to worry about resetting anybody halfway through what I was doing. So I was able to get rest all those tools and whatnot. That's almost everything. I'll take care of that when I clear those out. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised that didn't produce as much raw chicken as it has at times. Alright, so that brings this episode of Coffee Craft to a close. Don't forget, we do this every Tuesday 
at 7 p.m. Eastern, minus 4 UTC. Last week started the beginning of Games Revisited. That is on Thursdays at 6 p.m. It's an hour earlier, so we can fit in a little more game time. And it's where I go back over some older games and take a look at it, uh, go through at a medium pace. You know, not a speed playthrough, not a slow drawn out. And we are currently going in Season 1 through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the original game, not the MMO. And uh, on Fridays, we also do the 47%, my World of Tanks stream, where I show how I clearly keep the top half possible. Yeah, somebody's got to make that happen. And uh, that would be yours truly. I, I hope it is uh, entertaining as opposed to informative. Uh, usually I'm joined by a couple of friends and we just sit back and have a blast. So, Coffee Craft next Tuesday. Games Revisited coming up this Thursday. And the 47% coming up this Friday. With that, I bid you all adieu.